And uh, well, here there are some uh, examples also from that page in which we have a supplier, for example, this European Institute for Reference and Materials and Measurements, also International Atomic Energy in the case of this example, and most of them are from Canada, National Research Council Canada, and uh, from American National Institute of Standards and Technology. So uh, these are especially examples dealing uh, with uh, mercury. And all, all of them include not only total concentration of uh, mercury with a given uncertainty, as well as um, metal, metal mercury, which for sure know as a form of mercury very toxic for living organism. And uh, if we look at the type of material which is available, it comprises tuna fish muscle, sea fish tissue, and others. So uh, this group I can uh, define as a seafood or just fructi di mare. And uh, continuing this uh, presentation, I would like say some more words about uh, certified material available for selenium speciation. Why exactly this one? Because selenium and its compounds are very, uh, you know, essential for animals and for humans. But we must be aware of the fact that uh, there is a very narrow concentration range between this uh, necessary uh, or essential concentration and toxic concentration. That's why um, selenium is present uh, in environment and biomaterials. It can be in inorganic form, like you see here, selenium-4, selenium-6, and, and in organic forms. And uh, what I could repeat, that uh, bioavailability and toxicity of this element strongly depends on its binding form. That's why speciation analysis is needed. And here also uh, I would like to list the main problems or points that should be taken into consideration during um, analysis, speciation analysis of selenium. First is the quantitativeness of extraction of the species of interest from the sample material, which uh, can be a possible source of error if this process is not done properly. And another aspect we should know about preservation of the different species during the analysis, during uh, analytical procedure, starting from uh, uh, collection of the samples through um, storage and analysis, different, uh, using different analytical methods. And avoidance of isobaric inferences in mass spectrometry can be another problem associated to this speciation analysis of selenium. And low analytic levels, that results in lack in sensitivity and need for preconcentration. And uh, here there is an example of uh, uh, certified reference material for selenium speciation available. And supplier is this National Research of Canada. And the name of the material is selenium enriched yeast. And certificate describes the total selenium and selenium methionine. <coughs> well, now I would like to say some uh, words about uh, scientific and didactic activity of the depart my home department of analytical chemistry of the pharmaceutical faculty, which is settled at the Medical University of Gdańsk. I must say that we, from the beginning, that we have three universities. One is University of Gdańsk, the second is Technical University, and the third, which I represent, is the Medical University. So we have three universities in my city. And the structure of our Medical University uh, comprises such faculties like first medicine, 
also with the stomatological subfaculty. Also, students can be taught medicine in English. We call it English division. And there are students uh, from uh, all over the world, for example, from Middle East countries, also from uh, Canada, from USA, and of course from uh, European countries like Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Norway. And other uh, faculties, health science represents, and my is pharmacy with analytical subfaculty. And this is also interesting, intercollegiate faculty of biotechnology, which has emerged from the cooperation between the University of Gdańsk and our medical university. And let me say some words about the history of my university. And uh, well, Gdańsk has it's a 1,000 year old town. And first uh, pharmacy, for example, was established in 16th century. And um, there was a school in those years, in the time of Renaissance, Ateneum Gdanense, which had the Department of Science and Medicine. And it is somehow a tradition of medical um, science is at least from the Renaissance time in my city. And in 17th century, there was first Polish pharmacopoeia printed in Gdańsk. Uh, then uh, in 20th century, when uh, existed such an organization like Free City of Gdańsk, which was uh, before the First and the Second World War. That's why it's in German, the Staatliche Akademie für Praktische Medizin. It was established. And uh, Gdańsk was for many centuries multicultural city. There were uh, citizens of, uh, of German, of Polish origin, but also from Netherlands, from Scotland, England, and so on. And uh, during the Second World War, uh, there was a Medizinische Academy in Danzig established. And after the war, when uh, Gdańsk returned to Poland, uh, that was uh, turned into Academia Lekarska in English Medicinal Academy. And uh, quite recently, in 2009, we changed the name for the Medical University. And it was accepted by Polish Parliament. And some facts about figures about the uh, university. The number of students is around 6,000. And uh, if you look at the faculties, they are mm, the most numerous number is in medicine, following by health science, then uh, pharmacy, and so-called English division, and biotechnology. Teaching and research staff uh, represented is by a number of Total number of scientific staff are around 1,000. Full professor, the number is um, still growing. It's, I think now it's more than 70. And number of habilitated doctors, around 100. Number of PhDs, 544. We have this habilitation, which is uh, typical for Central Europe. It, uh, it's not uh, perhaps in America. However, it's a degree between uh, PhD and to become a professor, title of professor. Well, here is a um, table which uh, shows our offer for foreign students who want to be uh, doctor of medicine and master of pharmacy. And here these uh, are calculated into euro and admission fee includes 500 euro about and uh, as you can see the tuition fee for first year is 11,000. 250 euro, and for the next years is less, 9,500. 9, Similarly, for pharmacy, however, it's uh, a little bit lower, mm, 7,500 per year. Well, I represent the uh, uh, Department of Analytical Chemistry, and our work, didactic work, is mainly for pharmacy students for the second year as well as for medicinal laboratory students. And uh, we teach them uh, uh, methods of chemical, chemical methods of analysis and um, instrumental methods. Similarly, is this course done for the students of medicinal laboratory, which includes lectures as well as laboratory classes. And for the second year of this analytics, we teach them instrumental methods of analysis. Well, if we think about our scientific profile, um, they can be 
shown in these four points. Um, first is the area of term analytical research in analysis, general and in pharmaceutical uh, technology. It's also an interesting field of research, which especially is dedicated to the investigation on the solid form of drugs, which we measure the changes which occur during the samples heated. Another field of our specialization is multivariate methods and artificial neural networks in analytical chemistry. So it mainly includes a chemometric approach when you have uh, to deal with a large databases as a result of analytical uh, determinations. And uh, the third uh, field includes uh, analysis of contents and speciation of elements in medicinal plants, which is um, my research interest. And the last one is our um, interest in electrochemical methods, especially focused on voltammetric analysis of elements as well as of drug substances. And here I want to present several examples of our recent uh, publications. First one is uh, principal component analysis, interpretation of the results of chromatographic results together with essential elemental contents obtained from medicinal plants. Thank you.